What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On this video, we're looking at this very blinged up MM model chassis. Everything's metal on it, or pretty much everything's metal on it. Uh, and we're gonna go over it and have a good closer look. Now I know the first question you're gonna have is, is it cheaper to buy it like this or to buy everything separately? Or well, stay tuned, because in this video, I will tell you. <laughs> So an MN models chassis with pretty much or is every single metal upgrade you could think of. And this comes complete, as you see here, as a roller. It doesn't come in any special packaging. It's just in a box in a plastic bag. And I'll be honest with you, it does look very nice. But I think we need to have a bit of a closer look. And let's establish, is it worth the price tag? Hmm, I think it's... I don't know that one. I wasn't asking you, Alexa. Is it worth the price tag or is it cheaper to buy all the parts separately? Well, we'll get that over and done with now. I've totted up as many parts as I can find on here. Now, I couldn't find the wheels. Maybe I wasn't looking right, so I couldn't find the wheels and tires. Um, and I don't think I could find, there's a little servo holder, like an on-axle servo holder there. I couldn't find that. And I got to $200 without the wheels and without that uh, axle mounted servo bracket. So this is definitely cheaper to buy the complete thing than it is to buy it all separate. I also couldn't find all the fixings. So wheels, servo uh, mount, all the fixings and the little nice um, alloy washers as well. Couldn't find any of that. So my opinion, if you want something completely blinged up like that, it's definitely worth it. But I am going to tell you a few more things about it that you need to be aware of. So when I first received this, I did have a quick look over it and there was various fixings all over that weren't tightened up. So I've been through and tightened most of them. We'll go over it again before we get a body on and get the electronics in. And the other thing, I don't know how well you can see it on the... Um... Actually, let's take a wheel off. You can see it much better. Nice little two mil hex screws that fix the wheels on. These wheels are metal as well, guys. You get some of these wheels, I've seen some on Amazon that look like this, but they're plastic. These are metal um, and there's foams in there as well. So not the best off-road tire, but nice wheels. With a little 12 mil adapter there that slides over the hub or the axle should I say anyway what was I saying so can you see the angle of that front axle is pointing down um, let me just try and get there you go so it's actually pointing down now what you want <laughs> the right angle of this is actually to be pointing up slightly so all it means is these top links here these top links um, are too short, so they need lengthening, and that will push the top of the axle forward, which will bring your drive shaft angle up, which will be much smoother um, when you're running it. One of the easiest ways to check that angle is if you're driving and it's like feels like it's jumping or skipping, it's usually that angle that's wrong. It's a bit more scientific of how drive shafts um, work at their angles and stuff and positions, but but that's something I'm going to adjust before we get this thing running. Now, other things I want to talk about the shocks now so I've heard some people mention these shocks are no good and I've tried some similar whereas you don't get much movement with these there's not much flex there and it does sit a little bit higher than a stock one I will um, you can actually get some adapters to bring the height down a bit if you want but I think it then ends up um, being a pain rubbing on the body but anyway they are oil filled uh, when they arrived they had a tiny bit of oil in them I've taken them all off I've put oil in, um, bled them properly, like got the air out, and they actually feel now like quite nice shock absorbers. And I've left it two days since I've done it, and they're not leaking. So that is actually a bonus, and like I say, you can't get that much flex. This is definitely more of the trail truck like this than it would be for a crawler, but then I've always said the MN and the uh, WPL are 
more trail trucks, most of them, unless you do some serious mods to them. Really like these nice metal axles. They are sort of squared off, so they don't look really that scale, but they are nice. They look like they're machined really well. You've got your um, metal bracket on the top there. Drive shafts I'd change to the newer style. These are the older style drive shafts, definitely worth maybe upgrading to some newer ones because they work better than these. Well, in my experience, they do. And then we're running this single speed 370 motor with reduction box onto this nice alloy gearbox or transfer case, how we want to look at it. Uh, graphite or it's a carbon, it's like a graphite chassis. All in all, really nice metal bumper. Metal um, hooks, these are more one temp style. They're a bit big for this, but I think it doesn't look too bad. Uh, metal gears within the axles. I'm not gonna take the axles apart. I wanna keep them together. What I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna go over it now, check everything over, adjust all the links, cause they're all still loose and the lock nuts aren't tightened up. Definitely this has been thrown together in a factory and no real sort of um, checks of it, which is, normal kind of procedure from some of the stuff that comes out of china they do they do miss a bit of the quality control i'm happy to look over it if you're buying something like this that needs electronics and stuff uh, you should be able to do all the basic stuff and go over it as well don't buy this if you're a novice because uh, it does need electronics it is going to need setting up uh, and you are going to have to tweak it and fiddle about with it anyway that's it for this video um apologies there's no running in this one i'm a little bit busy at the moment with work and stuff so i wanted to get this video out so you could see uh, what this roller was about i've also got the wpl version come in which i think is pretty much the same apart from this top bracket but we'll put them side to side so i have got there's a wpl one as well like this this is marked up as the mn one and it comes as you see it here no body or anything like that what i'm going to do i'm going to get i've got an mn 99 s body i'm going to put on this i'm going to put the standard mn electronics in it and then we're going to take it out for a run next to a standard mn99 so we have the plastic chassis one or the stock chassis one and this one we'll take them across the trail and we'll see how this performs compared to its 50 dollar counterpart anyway cheers for watching i'll see you next time